Hi everyone, my name's Robert and I'm one of the Primary Languages Consultants for the Primary Languages Network. Uh, part of my role is also to organise some local network meetings, which are a great opportunity for the local language leaders within local schools to get together and meet up and we share ideas and resources. At the local network meetings, I tend to deliver ideas and activities and resources that the, that the teachers can take away and use with the children in their school. Normally, the teachers go away buzzing with ideas and feeling re reinvigorated and refreshed about primary languages. As sometimes when you're the primary languages leader in your school, it can be quite an isolating role if you're the only one delivering it. So it's quite a nice way to get together with other people. Each term when we do the local network meetings, we have a different theme. So the theme for this term is called A Spring in Your Step. And it's all to do with life cycles, plants, fruits and vegetables, and we'll be looking at the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Some of the activities that we've got, we've got a um, two action songs, one that's about 10 seeds in a plant pot and a naughty bird comes along each time and takes one of the seeds and we practice counting down from 10 in the target language. But I've been using that activity already, which has been a great activity to use with Key Stage 1. Children have really enjoyed responding to the song, doing actions when they hear particular words in the song, singing the song and standing in a circle with the seeds in the middle and each child pretending to be the naughty bird coming along each time and taking a seed. We've also got another action song where uh, the children will be practicing planting a seed within a plant pot and looking at the imperative verbs to do that in the foreign language and again performing it. With Key Stage 2 we'll be looking at making a fruit salad and this will be done in the style of MasterChef. So really good fun for the children where they're going to do it in the style of a TV show that they all enjoy and appreciate and they'll get to do lots of drama and acting with this where they act out making a fruit salad in the foreign language. I'm hoping actually to take some fruit into school and get the children to actually make the fruit salad. And with Upper Key Stage 2 we'll be looking at the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. The resources are really good because they can be differentiated and used from reception all the way up until year 6. We cover all four areas of language learning, so we look at speaking, listening, reading and writing and we also look at grammar as well. For instance, when we're looking at the fruit and vegetables, we look at masculine and feminine words and the children are given the opportunity to use dictionaries to find adjectives to describe the fruit and vegetables that they use within their, within their MasterChef drama. We also look at uh, writing their own version of Jack and the Beanstalk at Upper Key Stage 2 where the children can make little picture books and use that story and adapt it and change it with words that they found in the dictionary. Um, and again, looking at nouns, adjectives and verbs in the foreign language. Normally when the teachers come along to local network meetings, they, they're very interactive. So I like to get the teachers to stand up, play the games with me, sing the songs and look at the activities that I do with the children in class. And I think the teachers really appreciate this then because it gives them an, an insight into what it's like for the children and also gives them some ideas that they, how they could use it within their own classrooms. They're normally really good fun and I know the teachers really enjoy them and they go away buzzing with ideas that they can take back to their schools. And we tend to get teachers coming back over and over again to each local network meeting as they enjoy the range of activities that we provide.